What is going on guys? Welcome back. Got an SLK out here to show you. I think this is my first time looking at one of these. This won't take too long. It's a small car. Let's get in. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's uh let's see what we got. This is supposed to slide out and be like an ashtray, but I guess it's jammed. Alright, and now for the button test.
And now for the final button. <coughs> there is the odometer. I wish I could have picked the choir place to do this video. We got construction going on right behind us, getting a new building, but man, those guys are loud. Anyway, how does this one do? I've mentioned this before when I've done other older Mercedes, these feel and even drive way different than the new stuff. And in a way I prefer these, uh, these older Mercedes. So fit and finish wise, um, I'd say generally better than the, than the newer cars. Um, still a little bit squeaky in some places. The, uh, the loudness of the squeaks isn't isn't as uh, bad as some of the new stuff there's a little bit of loud squeaks but not as much but there's a uh, more frequent quieter squeaks if that makes any sort of sense i'm probably doing a really bad job explaining it but uh fit and finish isn't perfect but it is better than the modern cars so <clears throat> i think a fair score is seven out of ten for fit and finish a little bit better than average not super great but it's all right, I guess. Let's talk about the materials. So this one has, uh, it does pretty good with the soft touch actually. It's all on the dash, all on the doors here. All the big points that you touch is, uh, is soft touch. But you can tell it's sort of that 90s, early 2000s kind of soft touch. It, it does feel different than the, than the newer stuff, but feels good, feels acceptable. Always loved wood steering wheels. Don't know why they didn't make it full wood like on this top half here. It's like half wood, half leather. It feels kind of off. Whereas this lower part is full wood. I wish I wish that would be more consistent, but that's really nitpicking at, uh, at this point. We do have a little bit of hard plastic going on right here. Not liking that, but then this is an SLK. This is not the most high-end model that they made. And then the wood appears to be okay. It hasn't cracked just yet, which is all right. And the color and everything still looks good after all these years. Some of these climate control buttons feel very alien to me, only due to the age and the fact that they don't use this anymore. It really does feel like a, a blast from the past in that regard. The seats are leather. Don't think it's the highest end leather in the world, but it is still leather. I think this is before the MB Tex days, although it starts to begin cloth right over here, and then this is leather. Oh well. Not really much to talk about with the headliner here. I mean, this is a convertible. This is just some kind of plastic, basically. And then the sun visors are plastic, but they're uh, kind of same material as the rest of the soft touch in the car, which isn't so bad, actually. I can, I can deal with that. So materials wise, I think this is a bit better than average. Nothing outstanding, nothing ultra special, but not bad either, but a little bit above average. So six out of 10, I think is a fair score for the material. So there you guys have it. Seven out of 10 for fit and finish, six out of 10 for materials. Let me know your thoughts. All right guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.